Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. So in this video we're going to do chapter 1 verse 34 and uh, um, I don't know if, uh, if, if you've uh, watched my previous verse, uh, 433. I spoke about how I read the commentary this weekend on Saturday in a in-person Bhagavad Gita class. Um, on chapter 1 verse 40 and I was uh, I've been pretty I, I mean in the beginning I was pretty incensed and but now I've just I've been feeling very uh, hopeless and despairing almost I've, I've been feeling very heavy so I'm going to be working through that processing that trying to figure out what my li life path is going to be because uh, um, if I want to attain God, apparently the it's very, very important to have a guru. And if I can't accept Prabhupada as a guru, even though I, I think everything he says is amazing, except when he starts talking about women in general, um, I just find it very negative every time he talks. He talks about specific women really, I mean, highly, but in general. So I, and I'm reading his biography, Leelamrit. So uh, hopefully I will oh, make some sense. And this verse is really <laughs> hit it home, hit it hard, hit hard on that topic. Okay, so let's go to the verse. This is chapter 4, verse 34. Tadvidhi pranipatena pariprashrena sevaya upadekshanti te gyanam gyani nastatva darshanaha and what it means is just try to learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master, <laughs> inquire from him submissively and render service unto him. The self-realized souls can impart knowledge unto you because they have seen the truth. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know if I have guru, guru. Like, I mean, if I can't accept Prabhupada, then I, who can I accept? And the Shastras and everywhere, the scriptures everywhere, they talk about women like that. And I find it difficult to accept someone as a guru if they are not able to, if men are not able to love women, then I'm, I find it difficult to accept them as somebody who will be able to love God or who will be able to take us to God because, you know, human beings or living beings loving each other with humility, like, you know, men loving women with humility as much as women loving men with humility because love is humility. And so if, if, there, if there is, if I don't feel any humility from men towards women and uh, any love and if it's just entitlement, um, and uh, yeah, then I, I don't see how that, how I can feel love for them. Okay, anyways, let's go to the verse. So, Tadvidhi Pranipatena, that, that knowledge of different sacrifices, Vidhi try to understand Pranipatena by approaching a spiritual master. Um, Pari Prashrena Sevaya, Pari Prashrena by submissive inquiries, Sevaya by rendering a service. So approach a spiritual master by, to get these knowledge of different sacrifices, to understand them by approaching a spiritual master two ways, one by submissive inquiries, one by rendering service. Upadekshayanti te gyana. Upadekshayanti, they will in, initiate you, te gyanam into knowledge. Upadesh is like um, preach um, jnane nas tattva darshanaha um, the self-realized jnane na um, tattva the truth seers they are their truth seers they have seen the truth that's why they can do it so he talks about the disciplic su succession directly coming from God which is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Prabhupada was directly into that disciplic disciplic succession and uh, yeah inquiries and submission constitute the proper combination of um, spiritual understanding so one should hear submissively and also get a clear understanding um and a bona fide spiritual master is by nature kind towards a disciple. So when the student is submissive, the knowledge becomes perfect. Okay, so I really like the Swami Mukundan and um, translation here. He is saying that on hearing the sacrifice, 
that sacrifice should be performed the natural question that performs that the previous verse is sacrifice should be performed in knowledge so how how can we obtain that spiritual knowledge and there are two things approach a spiritual or three things he says approach a spiritual master inquire from him submissively and render service unto him so three like basically so um, absolute truth cannot be understood by our own contemplation this is uh, from the bhagavatam the intellect of the soul is clouded by ignorance from en- endless lifetimes covered with nations intellect cannot over- overcome its ignorance simply by its own effort one needs to receive knowledge from a god realized saint who knows the absolute truth someone who has been there can take you there that's a concept of mentorship right some only the person who has been there will be able to take you there and because this is such deep uh, stuff here it's very difficult to get there without because we don't know we we don't know what we don't know and it's just very very difficult so i i i like this i agree with this and uh, i think that uh, human beings um it brings humility right it, it human beings okay so he uh, let me go get back to that so um and yeah unless you surrender to a guru you cannot be liberated from material energy one of the most magnanimous graces graces of god is when he brings a soul in contact with a true guru that is when you find your guru when you find somebody who you can truly resonate with that is the biggest grace of god but the process of transfer from teacher to student is very difficult different from that so in the uh, secular education you do not need to have deep respect you pay the teacher you get the knowledge and it's done right you do not need to have this deep like almost whatever you say is perfect kind of thing but spiritual education is not by imparted by mechanical teaching process nor is it purchased for a price it is revealed in the heart of a disciple by a guru's grace when the disciple develops humility and god is pleased the guru is pleased with the service attitude of the disciple so prahlad maharaj said that unless we bathe ourselves in the dust of the lotus feet of a saint we can never have an experience to the of the transcendental platform so yeah we need to and okay that's so the translation he has had here he doesn't use the word so he does use the word submissively here but here he says learn the truth by approaching a spiritual master inquire from him with reverence and render service unto him such such an enlightened saint can impart knowledge because he's seen the truth so inquire fr- with reverence so here uh, with submission is uh, um pari pari uh, prashre pari prashnena pari prashnena by humble inquiries um by rendering service um so um i think pari prashnena here was the one submissive yeah by submissive inquiries by humble inquiry similar thing okay so uh, yeah so all this sounds really good to me because i believe in the the power of humility to be, to bring love so when i'm praying many times the first thing i pray for is please please bring me down to authenticity and please please bring me to humility because right now i can feel my ego so and this is the very first time every time i'm praying almost this is the very first sentence i say because i can feel the ego and i can feel the difference when i bring myself to humility and i cannot always bring myself to humility but i can feel many times when i am able to i mean when i'm not able to i uh, i keep praying please bring me to humility i keep uh, repeating that and if i still cannot i say i i apologize god that i'm not able to come to humility and and then i'll pray in whatever way i'm praying but the humility is extremely important i i i feel that i can see that and the, to get the humility for a guru is extremely important so to get the humility for a guru that you resonate with that you completely love that you can have this attitude of complete surrender to that is i think it's necessary and that because that you you experience that on a human level first and then you experience that with god so when you experience it's easier to experience that with a on a human level it's harder because a person's there and you can see the person if there are flaws or whatever you can see that but in order to experience that with god it is easier to access it first through a human it is easier to get to that place by accessing it through a human so this i really believe in it very very deeply that in order to get to a place where you feel love for god real humility and love and total surrender for god if you can 
can feel that for a human, if you can bring yourself to feel that, genuinely feel that for a human being, uh, then you are going to be able to access it for God much, much easier. So uh, that's it for today, for this video. Uh, chapter 4, verse 35 is what we will do next video. Wish you all a very, very beautiful uh, day. <laughs> Wish you a day filled with spiritual growth. Oh, um, Radhe Radhe.